Hey everybody, for 47 here, and welcome back to Marquee Matchup Predictions. And last week, I'm very happy, went really well, especially with the. Well, okay, this is gonna sound bad saying this, but the prediction for Fiorentina versus Inter Milan went really well. Uh, a lot of money was made with Keane. Uh, the Fiorentina game against Inter today got interrupted because uh, I think it's Bovu. Well, yeah, I think it's Bovu, an Italian player. Uh, he fainted. Yeah, I think by the time I'm doing this, I think he's breathing. He's awake. But uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that's hard. So it's hard to see, especially young players, uh, healthy players, collapse like that. Um, so hope uh, he gets well soon and can come back to play in in the safe way. Because if it's not safe, better retire, boy. That's the, that's what I can say. But uh, it was good for us when it came to. Uh, predictions even the um, that I didn't do the prediction here I think uh, West Ham versus Arsenal was one of the games that I talked about uh, yeah, outside of this uh, so that also came out uh, EA is doing what I I know EA is gonna do and I'm trying to go around it because I'm expecting a curveball one of these days but they're doing exactly the same pattern they're not using the same teams and they are uh, using, um, so they're not using the same teams because Liverpool would be twice in a row. And when it comes to um, to games, if it's let's say Arsenal versus Nottingham, and uh, Chelsea versus I don't know who was it was Spurs versus City, something like that. Uh, yeah, Spurs versus City, that was the one. Uh, they went with the bigger game, so yeah, we're gonna do something uh, similar today. So let's start here. The first one, Twenty versus PSG, uh, PSV, uh, as usual. You know, uh, not a lot of money to be done here, but just get Dutch players from the Edivis if you want. Maybe they'll bounce a little bit. Maybe you're lucky and it is required some players to do the 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 the, 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 the objectives, the one nation objectives. Maybe you can be lucky with that. Second one is Atletico Madrid versus Sevilla. This is one that's not going around a lot. But I decided to put this one uh, because they are two historical winners of the Europa League. For example, they have they always fight. Sevilla is not doing very good this year, but as a second challenge, I think this one could be if you want to risk it. Spanish players from uh, yeah, just go Spanish players from either team. Just go like that. Then um, this is the first big match that I'm going to talk to you guys about. There are two things that make me afraid. The first one is we have been having Serie A games week in, week out. I think the last three marquee matchups we've had games from the, the Serie A. But let's be honest, look at this. Look how close all of them are. And as you can see, you can say, oh, but boo-boo, second place is four points away from Napoli. So Napoli is doing well. Well, Napoli has one more game. So if this was going uh, accordingly, okay, Juve here is winning, so, uh, but if this was going accordingly, if Atalanta, Inter and Fiorentina had 14 matches, they would all have 32 points, assuming they would win. So it's really close, it's really close. So what do I want to talk here? This is my second game, uh, because uh, Napoli needs to win, okay, so, if so then no, 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 yeah so four points napoli needs to win because if napoli loses they will in theory lose to the first place to atalanta Inter, and fiorentina so they will drop immediately to fourth place lazio needs to win so lazio can keep up with the with the top four so there is a lot on the on the line also and if they want to do something different you have atalanta milan a that's another big game, but the thing is, Atalanta needs to win again. It's almost the same situation as Napoli, but Atalanta is even worse because Atalanta goes from second to, uh, well, it was fifth place, probably. Yeah, probably gonna go like that, yeah. Uh, or even sixth, yeah, because I don't know the how's the goal difference between all of them. That I don't know, I'll be honest. And I'm assuming that Juve is gonna win. Uh, and Milan needs to win because uh, they will get 25 points, but to keep up with the first with the top six so 
places. I know it's too early to talk about European uh, places, but they need to stay close to the European uh, places so at the end of the season they can attack and hopefully get on the top four. When it comes to nations, because because they are doing um, the one nation objectives, there's two ways that you can make money. It's with the nations, you know, maybe they're going to do an objective where you need the Dutch player or a Portuguese player. And then these prices will rise because they will buy these players. Not a lot, but hopefully it can happen like King did. King was going for uh, 550 and there was a point he was going for um, 3k. Uh, laser from uh, on, on X, he got really crazy because he bought like 20. I told him, buy, not, uh, buy Fiorentina players and he bought King. Uh, and uh, like 20 of them at... Uh, 550 each and you'd sold them for like 3.1 so that is a lot of profit uh, but yes uh, we, we'll move on because I'm, I'm talking too much uh, on this one so focus on maybe these nations maybe that, ha that can help and get them at 300 because let's say you get them at 300 and I miss it can happen it can be a different one it can be it's so easy for me to miss uh, I've been so lucky so far in like almost four months of doing this I only missed bad once so uh, yeah, but even if I miss bad and I don't get it, if you get them at 300, trust me, you will be able to sell them for um, 400, 500 easy uh, immediately. So you won't make as much money as you wished, but you will make money. And then uh, when it comes to the Prem side, no, there's nothing up here. We don't care about Liverpool anymore. They are 11 points ahead. Oh my God, how City fell. Um, they are 11 points ahead from second place, so it doesn't count for these uh, these numbers. So, I'm predicting Chelsea versus Spurs because they are five points apart, and it's a lot like Napoli, sorry, Milan and At Atalanta, like we say. Chelsea needs to win to keep up. I don't think none of these teams are going to be champions. It's going to be Liverpool up here, but to keep up with the top four, and of course, Tottenham needs. If they want to be a top six team and this, at this moment Nottingham is in front of them they need to win to pass Brighton Nottingham uh, so it is an important match it's a London derby which are very intense usually they hate each other like it should be in the, in the derby uh, but yeah Chelsea needs to win to keep up with these um, with the top four at least or top five or yeah even if they lose Nottingham might pass them that's that's how hard the, the, the from the second place down it is. And again, Tottenham needs to win because if Tottenham wins and City, Brighton City and Nottingham loses, they might go to fourth place. That's a big jump. So there and uh, there is a lot on the line. Also another game which is very historical derby. It's Liverpool versus uh, Everton. But they are, and I'm not saying this wrong, they are 21 points apart. If that game comes out, it's purely an historical factors because it is a massive derby. I would say probably even bigger than this one. But again, this is a big one and a lot on the line. When it comes to Liverpool, can lose whatever. Uh, Everton needs to win to, to keep going up, trying to keep uh, not to go to the bottom of the table. But there is not a lot of danger on both sides because uh, Everton still has a lot of time to, to recoup. And, uh, uh, Liverpool, they, they're they they're full of confidence, they're not nervous, they're not... Look, every, Liverpool has everything to win. Anyway guys, this is my prediction for this week's marquee matchup. Did I get something wrong? Is there a game that I should have written here? Uh, so yeah, oh yeah, and get these players here. Uh, as cheap as possible. Please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon, you know all those good things that make us grow, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!